Hi everybody, it's PJ. Oh, let me take my peppermint out. <laughs> All you'll see is this white flash every time. So, I've never given you the review on seeing John Edwards. So, let me do that if I can get through it. My boss has been so, Tim. Okay, my boss, Tim, has been so about our work that I have not been able to really get online lately and do much more. I did a review the other day and I did a tutorial, but I can do those like while I work. But to actually sit and talk to you guys for a while, it's been a bit. So, um, John Edwards. Oh my God, he was so good. Um, and I'm not just saying that either because I kind of always look at other psychics or readers with a little skepticism just because I know how other companies I've worked for and stuff wanted me to spin it. Like they wanted me to spin it and then, you know, where like I was all knowing and so they would do things like prompt the weather when I was on the 900 lines and you get a call. Um, after Psychic Friends Network was taken over by a different company other than Infomercial or Information, sorry. And um, after that, they gave us this whole list of stuff we could lie about, like weather and this and that. So you would get a prompt on the phone before you would answer, and it, you know, it would say, um, Houston, Texas, raining. So we were supposed to pretend like, you know. And it was ridiculous. I would never use anything they gave me. I was so mad. <laughs> but um, anyway, John Edwards, um, when we first got there, uh, we were supposed to go in an hour early to pick our seats, and we didn't um, because, honestly, we went to the wrong hotel. But anyway, and we got there at like quarter to seven. He was coming on at seven. There was only like 200 people. Like, this was not a huge venue. This is actually... A very small venue compared to what I thought it would be and um, so we get there and we're talking and we're waiting and they sign you up for this thing called um, uh, evolved and I haven't even gotten a chance to look at it like I swear I've been like shot from the can and busy but um, so then he comes in and um, he first talks to you about how he does what he does, you know, what his process is compared to, like, I guess everybody else's process. And um, you get an idea of, you know, how he does what he does. And, you know, some of his accolades, the book that he's written, the books that he's written, stuff like that. Just to, like, kind of, like, get to know me moment. So he talks about like his process and and it explains what we're about to see and that takes about 10 minutes 15 maybe and then he all of a sudden just breaks into it he's like okay over here in the corner I'm feeling this 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 and at first I thought he was just throwing out nets you know what I mean like throwing the net out seeing what he got back and I was like wow really but Maybe that was just him kind of tuning in. He is a seer. He says he is shown the things that he says. He's shown by these his spirit guides. That's what he basically said his process is. Um, I'm not a seer. I'm a feeler. Words come to me, thoughts, but I don't really see anything. I'm not a clairvoyant. Um, he says he's being talked to by these spirit guides and they show him things and So maybe that's where the disconnect was there because I um, he definitely was saying things like Cupcakes with um, He said um, oh Cupcakes with the American flag on them to this woman who was standing up talking about a past relative and the lady behind him is like oh no that's me I just delivered him to the nursing home so he's being shown things and then he has that woman stand up and talk about and then they she he starts seeing like whoever showed him that 
so it's a little different than like a reading like I would do but I'm not a medium I never claimed to be hold on but then and that was very the first couple minutes there was like almost a little bit of a disconnect with people or whatever and then it honed in like a shotgun like a gun like a gun he was like spot on and crazy stuff too like this one little girl was in the audience and um her mother and her mother was standing up talking and their father had just the father to the little girl the husband had just passed like like literally six weeks ago and um he said he was like um okay so i see your husband just like go like that and she's like yeah and he's like there was nothing they could do and she's like right it just was like this here the guy had an embolism and just and right in front of her too right in front of them like one minute he's talking about dinner next to me he's dead on the floor and but then he goes on to say um that all this stuff about singing he's like singing can i have your daughter stand up is that okay and they said yeah and he's like asking the daughter can i talk to you about this and she's like yeah and he's like um did you used to sing, sing to your dad and the girl's like yeah and he's like um your dad wants me to make sure you don't stop like that you go you go you do it he's like um he wants to make sure that you make that your path. That girl like started breaking down crying. And here there was like an audition right around then. And, and he didn't want her. The, and he wanted her not to not go to the audition. The little girl audition. She does really well with it. So once they start talking back and forth. They, oh, that's what it's from. So it was like that. But like he could have looked at the little girl and said, you know knitting but he said singing which is really impressive and then um very specific things came out on this one group of men were right in front of us none of my party got read um but there was a difference in that too because as he said a lot of people come there for validation you know like to make sure that their family is somewhere I don't need that and that and like once he said that I was like I'm not getting read because I don't need validation I know they're somewhere I had questions for them I had more questions for him about like the lady in the river things like that because I just have questions and I thought maybe he would know better but regardless um, so um, okay so when he this group of men were standing in front sitting up right in front of us and he points over and says um your father passed to one of them and he said yes and he's like okay this is what i'm getting and you know remember things come in crazy so he's like was your dad married twice he's like yes he goes but there was a third relationship that your dad you wanted to be in and the guy's like yes and he's like and he said um can i be he's like can i get personal and the guy's like yeah and he goes okay so what i have here is a third relationship it's a man but your father said he he was never gay never gay he was just in love with this guy and the guy's like yes that's exactly what he said like and then they started talking about like the ins and outs of that how his father never really accepted his own being um gay and just said that no he was in love with this man and that that was separate and it was the love of his life and the guy just died so i mean crazy how would you know that you couldn't look at me and say oh your dad was married twice and then the third was a man and the things he says only make sense to that single human. So crazy, crazy pants. Like honestly, really good. Um, enjoyed every minute of it. Now we bought the tickets where you could meet him afterwards and whatnot, but it wasn't like what I, I probably wouldn't, I didn't, like somebody else took me back. I wouldn't have put out the money for the after thing where you can get your picture taken. When they said you could talk to him afterwards, I thought maybe I could talk to him about 
Monroe Institute, but he only wanted to take personal questions about himself. So he said, you know, I'm going to take five questions out of this smaller group. And they asked about life after death and stuff. And, you know, I just felt like those people needed to hear that. They needed to hear all about it. I, I already know there's a life. Yeah, you know, I already experienced all my stuff. So for me, I didn't need that validation. But I am going to find out what a private reading is for him. And if I can put it on my, on my YouTube channel. Because if he lets me do that, I'll put the money up. Because I would love to ask him some things that are personal to me but at the same time um, I didn't need the validation and everybody he talked to did every single person needed to know that their dad or mom or sister or brother or son uh, we didn't have any daughters that, no and a wife yeah needed to know they were okay they were somewhere where they needed to be they were still in contact you know I didn't need that and I guess that was the difference but oh my god it was so much fun it lasted from 7 until almost 11 o'clock and it was just brilliant it was wonderful I would absolutely recommend it and go again so if you feel like going to see something cool just look up John Edwards and see where he's playing because like he's amazing he is so unbelievably gifted like I know we're all gifted, but he took his gifts somewhere else, so he's definitely better than me. And I am not ashamed to say that. <laughs> I'm not a medium. I'm not a medium. Now, ghosts appear to me. I've seen ghosts. I've never talked to them. I don't know how to hone that in. I don't know how to, like, impose my will on them. If I could, I would sit around talking to Jeff every day. <laughs> I would never be lonely again. But I, I can't. It's very hard, very difficult for me and the other side to connect. Now, maybe it isn't. Maybe I just haven't learned how, but I haven't learned how yet. So, yeah. So, those are the kind of things I would ask him. You know, tell, give me a hint. Am I on the right path doing a lot of the Murmuro Institute stuff? Should I change my path to something else? Is there a certain meditation, vibration that helps get you to that place so that I'm very selfish. I just want to go talk to Jeff. So. Anyway, that is my review of John Edwards. Um, and I love you guys. Have a great day. If you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, if you don't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I got you watch. Manifest something good in your life if you know it. See it, say it. Believe it. You'll get it. So go get something great. Go get something great. Ice cream and lollipops. Bye. I love you.